Hey, how do you doodly do? It's bright and early and I packed my bags. I'm leaving my car behind. Uh, I'm now in Moskenes in Lofoten and I'm heading for uh, Svolver where I'm gonna join a sailboat named Simi Smile for a couple of days. So come along! Yes, I have arrived in Svolvær. It's almost 10 o'clock in the morning and now I'm looking for Simi Smile and I think I spot her right over there. Hallo, hallo. Hey. Hello, Captain. How do you do, Lidu? Perfect. Thanks, Lidu. Yeah, ship ahoy. Finally on a sailboat again. This is not Greece, but it's just as pretty. See me smile. <laughs> First time I sailed with Jens Helge on See Me Smile was back in 2016 when he was looking for crew to go sailing on the south coast of Norway on his boat. I was eager to join him as I was boat shopping at that time and was looking at catamarans. His Fountain Pasholi Pari 41 is a wonderful boat and my desire for catamarans just grew after that. I actually made a video from this trip too and it's available for my patrons. Link is in the description below. How about this? What do you say, Captain? It's better than that. <laughs> Couldn't be much better. Nope, absolutely not. Sorry, I got already caught this one. And here you can find uh, something that you can put here to, uh, make, to make yourself more comfortable. We are approaching a Kabelvåg and right there you see one of the biggest uh, wooden churches in Norway. It's called uh, Lofoten's Cathedral or the Cathedral of Lofoten.
let's hope we can do some sailing today but uh, right now there's not even a slight breeze it's just the little there is is cold, but it's not enough to move a boat, I don't think, so... Yeah. But I'm not complaining, this is so beautiful. And I get to be on the ocean again. I wish I had a dolphin seat on my boat. Fantastic place to be. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, right. you want to be comfortable? Have a seat. I am. I have the best seat in the house. <laughs> Luxury cruising, huh? Thank you, thank you. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Bartender! <laughs> It looks like nobody else is sailing too. There's no point in sailing. I really can't imagine there are many days in a year with so little wind as there is today. The wind we feel now is actually the boat speed. The captain and the first lady, they met a couple yesterday who took them out here in the archipelago and uh, they found a crack in the rocks where they pushed through. You could just barely go through. So now they're out looking and see if they can find it again. But they can't really agree on which, which crack it was. There's so many. Jan Selge? Yeah. How long have you been sailing now? With this boat for five years. Yes, but this on this vacation you started on this in. This vacation I started. Kristiansand? Uh, uh, Kristiansand, uh, I think about 10th of May. 10th of May? Yeah. And now you're in Lofoten, and now is the 12th of June. 12th of June. So a little over a month. Mm. It's been a nice trip. Excellent yeah. trip. Yes? Yeah. I had some uh, concerns for the weather before we left and I had a pretty rough start from Lindesnes to Stavanger with a gale against me, mm. straight in the nose and uh, that was quite challenging but uh, mm. uh, I would like to be in Stavanger on the 17th of May so therefore I decided to, uh, to beat the, to beat the, the gale so. yeah. but other than that it's been alright. But today is the worst, most shitty day you had so far? Probably, probably the worst day yes. for sailing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much sailing going on. This is uh, dead calm and extremely beautiful. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. Norway is a diverse country in the coastline. Mm. We have just about everything, don't we? We do, we do. From the flat uh, Jaren to fjords on the west coast and I saw the uh, 
what's it called? The Hondan, uh, Alp, Alp, uh, what's it called? Those, uh, what are they called in, in uh, Møre? Lofoten. Sundmarsalpene. Sundmarsalpene. I saw them. And uh, been up to Glacier, been up to Salstrømmen, through Salstrømmen, twice. That must have been uh, fantastic. That was fantastic. Yeah. So. yeah. I got a video of some ribs uh, playing in Salström. So mm. with this boat, <laughs> it must be amazing. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be afraid to go there in the, in the maximum uh, current. No. But uh, I, before doing, before going through there, I, I called. Um, well, I, I googled Bode Sail Association, mm. and one name came up. And without telephone number, so we googled uh, the guy's uh, telephone number. I called him and I said, Is it safe to go through Salstammen? Yeah, but not in the maximum current. Mm. So we went through going in, and then it was uh, high tide, and we waited two, three hours to have some current going out, and then we had, uh, we had seven, eight knots current plus the speed of the boat. Did you, did you slow down the boat speed so you just had the current and flew, flew with the yeah, stream? Yeah, we just had two, three knots so you could feel it yeah. very solid. Yeah. So, Amazing. And, and, and the, the guy we talked to and uh, I said, uh, if you want, you can come by the boat tonight. And he came by and he was a preacher man from Buddha. A preacher? Yeah, a preacher. Yeah. So, uh, always, all the people we meet up here are very friendly. Yes, they are. I noticed this too. They're almost so helpful that you uh, you're bothered to ask for help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we had a full dinner last night with uh, some people that we met in uh, Austria, uh, I think seven years ago. Yeah. So they invited us for dinner last night. So huh. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Couldn't be better. And now I'm on the boat. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Check back next week when we continue our passage through Lofoten on Simi Smile, as I will test the early summer Arctic swimming temperature. Thank you so much to my patrons and supporters, especially my gold supporter Harvey Engvert. Check back again next week for more. Now give this video a like and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.